Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, friends of Japanese prints. I'm Dieter, Dieter Van Schura, and I'm the owner of the Artelino Company, artelino.com, a small family company. Um, with today's video, I want to inform well, those of you who are collectors of Shinhanga prints and are um, familiar with the term of Robert O. Muller collection, I want to inform you what's the state of the so-called Robert O. Muller collection, respectively of prints um, that we've described over 17 years as from the Robert O. Muller estate. So what's the current situation? To wrap it up, this collection or these prints coming from the Robert O. Muller estate they now come to an end after 17 years. Well, for those who are not so much um, familiar with Japanese prints, especially from the Shinhanga art movement, um, who was Robert O'Mala? Robert O'Mala was a famous um, collector of Japanese prints and dealer in Japanese prints, and he died in 2003. And when he died, well, he had left um, to the world an incredible, a huge collection, um, huge uh, in terms of numbers. There were ten thousands of the best Shinhanga prints that you could imagine, uh, and incredible uh, in terms of the, the quality. After his death, about four thousand prints from his collection were bequested to the Smithsonian Institution um, in Washington, D.C. And the rest, um, it sounds like, oh, a little bit of a, of a rest. No, it was more like that. If that is 4,000, well, then the rest was something like that. And this huge, huge rest was made available for the market. And my little company, Artelino, um, Artelino.com, we've been so fortunate to offer and sell Japanese prints from the estate of Robert O'Mala, from that part that was made available for the market since 2003. And since then, we've sold thousands and thousands of wonderful Shinhanga prints by such artists like Hasui from the estate of Robert O. Muller. Um, this video is now to inform you what's the condition of, uh, well, this formerly um, huge number of prints uh, now, and we now are in late December of 2020, and I already said it before, it's now coming to an end. A few days ago, I wrote an article and um, I, I wanted to make it more transparent for you. And there I list what we currently have, what we currently can offer, which artists um, and, and how many um, copies from a design, what, which designs and what we may still have in the near future. But let's um, talk a little bit about the, the so-called Robert O'Mala collection. And, and how it all started for those of you who are not familiar with the Robert O'Mala collection. Robert O'Mala was in 1940 or shortly before, uh, he got an interest in Japanese prints and he was a businessman and he bought um, a company in New York, the Shima Art Company. It was basically um, a shop for Japanese prints and um, a distribution hub for Japanese prints uh, for the USA. Um, and in 1940, um, after he had bought Shima Art Company, well, he went on a honeymoon trip to Japan with his bride Inge, and that honeymoon trip turned out to be become actually a shopping tour for Shinhanga um, art prints. And there, Robert O'Mala, he got to know the famous publisher Watanabe Shotsaburo, also other publishers, also publishers from Kyoto. And he got to know um, most of these major uh, Shinhanga artists like Hazui, Hazui Kawase, Ito Shinsoi, or Shiro Kazamatsu. 
and he bought prints in huge, huge, huge um, numbers, mostly from the publishers, uh, mostly Watanabe, but also uh, directly from the, the artist. And you know, one year later then came Pearl Harbor. Of course, he had to close the shop in New York and it took years after World War um, II until his business finally could start a, a, at all. Of course, in the early years after World War II, well, there was an anti-Japanese, um, a, a hostile um, mood in, in the US and it was practically impossible um, to sell Japanese prints. But with small beginnings by and by, um, he um, recovered and he organized exhibitions and by and by the art world became aware of uh, the importance um, of this collection and these prints. And uh, the so-called Robert O'Mala collection became um, widely known with the book publication. Um, and I have to mention now one um, name, Chris Ullenbeck, an art dealer from the Netherlands. He saw the collection and he immediately recognized its, its value and uh, artistic um, aspects. And uh, due to him, well, this book was published, um, The New Wave, um, the subtitled 20th Century Japanese Prints from the Robert O. Muller Collection. And talking about books um, after the death um, of Robert O'Mala, I, I told you before, 4,000 uh, print designs were bequested to the Smithsonian, and they uh, staged a, a huge exhibition and also published a book, Print to Perfection, uh, 20th Century Japanese Prints from the Robert O'Mala Collection as a support uh, for this um, exhibition. So this. Um, um, collection is, is widely uh, documented. When this huge amount um, of prints that were not bequested to the museum, those 4,000 prints were just a small part, yeah? There were 10,000s. Um, they were made available for the market and dealers worldwide, of course, especially those uh, specialized in Shinanga, they were very much concerned. They thought, oh my God, now prices will plummet. Actually, it didn't happen. Prices remain stable or even um, in increased, especially prints, valuable prints by, by Hasui Kawase. Since then, um, the, the prices went out, went, went up for, for prints from this collection and in general uh, prints from the so-called Shinhanga art movement. Um, and I want to show you um, this, this article that I wrote a few um, days ago to tell you what we currently have, um, what we can currently offer in our current auction and what you may be able to see in the next coming auctions. Uh, let's go a little bit over that. Uh, and I try to give you a few, a little bit of transparent information about the situation. Um, copies, designs available. Um, first, yeah, let's first mention, okay, which, which artists um, are currently still available. It came down to Hazui, Hazui Kawase. You see them in the background. Kozon, Shote, uh, Kena, Nimao, Sol Sanito, Soseki, Komori. Uh, these are the artists that we can currently offer. Maybe at the estate there are still a few more, but it's uh, very limited. It's now coming to an end. The situation for Hazui prints, we can currently offer these four. Wonderful, uh, not quite cheap but we have only one copy of each of these four designs. The situation for Kozan O'Hara looks a little bit better. Partly we have more than one copy of a design. The number of designs available currently here for Kane and Imau. Uh, Sol Sanito, only one design, but we have four copies. Um, I filled up the row here. And um, uh, Soseki Komori, 
And finally, Shote, wonderful designs um, in so-called Mitsugiri format. Mitsugiri, this is so tall and a little bit, bit skinny, rather large. Uh, wonderful night scenes. Okay, um, yeah, and this is what we currently have. Of course, we hope that we may get a little bit more in the near future, but I want to inform you, it's now coming to an end. First of all, of course, in the number of designs available and in the number of, of quantity. It's incredible, um, less than 20 years, this huge amount of uh, so-called Muller prints av available for the market after the death of Robert O. Muller. Um, finally, more or less sold out now. Not yet quite, but coming to an end. Well, um, if you have any question, uh, we are rather open. Don't hesitate to contact us. And um, yeah, so much for today. I hope um, you like this video. I would be pleased to see you for our next videos, then maybe about a specific artist or whatever. And until then, please stay safe and goodbye. And Merry Christmas. Today is uh, late December 2020 and a Happy Good New, New Year. Goodbye.